What's up guys and welcome to Retro City Rampage DX. This is available on the PlayStation 4, PS Vita, and PS3 as a cross by title. Cross save 2 right now. It's been out for a few weeks actually, so I'm really, really late with this one. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's just too busy, man, too busy, but it's a cool top-down, open-world GTA style mixed with NES original GTA. It's this weird, crazy mashup of game that we're gonna head into right now. So it's really cool, like I said, it's open world, so we can run off and do some missions, we can run off and destroy these guys, like, uh, oh gosh, <laughs> getting a call. Okay, then we're actually gonna skip around with that. We can just come here and punch this dude, go and have a chase with the cops, steal this car, do whatever I want, very GTA style, but at the same time, it sort of mixes it in with the original GTA, where it was top down. And that's really interesting. And on the top off there, you can see my map, and I can go do the main mission, the mini games, it's a really cool, open world style game, and it's actually DX, which means it has improved the original, th so for, for those of you who have played the original Retro City Rampage, it might be worth a revisit if you really enjoyed the game, as the game is really touched up, not only do you have a slew of new options and, you know, just sort of improved gameplay, but apparently they've revisited basically the entire game, they're really cleaning it up. Not to say that the original was bad at all, from what I played it was really good, but they really did a good job at making it a lot better. But we can go do a little mini, let's see, let's see whatever the skull is, is we can go here and enjoy it, and find out whatever it is, it looks like it's over here. Let me just walk away from the cops, I don't even care. <laughs> awesome. But the story, you know, it's like, the story about this game is like you're sent into the future. It is a, the story here is a gigantic, I don't even know what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> I don't even know, I wasn't even paying attention. It's just like, but the story is sort of just like a big mess of, I don't know, it's like, it's a parody. And it's supposed to be making fun of like 80s movies and NES games and it's cool. And if you really grew up in the 80s or, you know, really enjoy old 80s movies and action flicks like that, you're really going to enjoy the story. But at the same time, the story wasn't incredibly well written. It's like, I, I, half the time I didn't even know what was going on. I just knew, hey look, that's Doc Brown. Hey look, that's an NES reference. But when it came to actually what the story's happening, I have no clue. And maybe that's just me, but I just really didn't. Oh, I didn't want to do it again. Dang it. Here. Let's, uh, can I exit the challenge? Uh-oh. Oh, maybe I can. <laughs> I'll just let a time out. Let's go down here and see what's down here. Oh, it's a subway. Let's go somewhere. <laughs> but it's just like, you can do whatever you want, and it's sort of funny. And you can go and do some main missions, and they're fun as well. And we also do have a wide range of options here. Like, if we go into video audio, what I really like is that we have a lot of different, like, like, you know, like, you can see here some different filters and simulations, and you can do the same thing with the colors and the scan lines and the HUD, and a lot of different visual effects and additions you can make here, which actually makes it really, really nice. I, I do appreciate that. And this is cross buy and cross save, so if you pick it up for your PS4, you can get it for your PS3 and PS Vita. Let's drive the ice cream truck. I'm an awesome person who just drives around an ice cream truck and run over people on their motorcycles. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's cross save, so I can, you know, finish it here and then keep on playing. All right, then. Let's try this again. Let's back to game. There we go. It's exactly what I want. And I can pull up. What button is it now? There we go. I can pull up my inventory, which apparently wasn't in the original. I didn't play too much of the original, but this is really nice. I do enjoy it. It works a lot like a top-down shooter in many senses. So let's uh, hop into a car. Now let's go back to our area and try to do a main mission just to show that off a bit. All right, then we're back at the doctor's house. And of course, this is very Back to the Future-esque, except it's all about criminals and stuff. Like, you're just this greaser dude who just likes to do, like, crime and stuff for money. And that's the thing, the whole world is based around crime. So I'm just gonna sort of skip some of this. Really, I feel like you can enjoy this game just as much if you read the dialogue or if you don't. If that's not your thing, you can still get away with this game. All right, then, so we're driving to a uh, game Deenies with Doc Chalk, okay. And that is over here, and it's like, even just driving to the missions and doing all that kind of stuff is fun. It's just, it's sort of just like a fun little Game Boy GTA. <laughs> and I like that a lot, and I like that style. So let's uh, drive over. It's quite a long drive, though. <laughs> it's okay, though. Of course, the world isn't quite big enough for a fast travel, though. It's not that huge, from what I've seen. I mean, I don't believe there's, okay, yeah, if you press start, you can see the map a little more in detail. There it is. And it isn't super huge, but it isn't super small at all. But for, you know, this is, I believe at one point this was a PlayStation Plus game, the non-DX version, I'm not quite sure. But overall, you know, it was a really good game, and I really enjoyed it. Okay, then, here we are. Meet Boyotix, and is very self-conscious, so don't draw attention to his skinless appearance. So is this going to be a Super Meat Boy reference? I hope it is. Great game, Dini, this is my friend player. 
Oh, <laughs> he looks like like an, an adult Super Meat Boy. Nice to meet you, player. And your name is Player, by the way, which is silly. Master of Codes. <laughs> but I have lost my code book. Uh oh. How are we gonna get codes now? We need to track down some rare machine service parts and hoped your great powers could be used to locate them. Okay. So basic stuff, like I said, I can just start skipping this now. <laughs> We're in some theater. Cool, and we can just like hop in a fast car like this. And basically, you know, this is the game. You know, if you've played any GTA style game or any mission based game at all, you know exactly what you're doing here. Just in a top down format, really. But you know, Retro City Rampage DX is really cool and really worth it if you've even played the original Retro City Rampage. Or if you're new to the game, it's really still worth picking up if you like something silly and fun like this. Overall, really good experience. You can find the game in the link in the description on PSN. Uh oh, what's Take out this cop. Ha, ha, cool. And there's also a blocking system. Oh, yeah, just like this by pressing triangle, and I can just like pop out and just start shooting. Yeah, just like that. I have grenades out right now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family. And of course, comment in the comment section below what do you think about Retro City Rampage DX, and do you think you're going to be getting it yourself? I'd love to see in the comment section below. And like I said, the game is in the link in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.